this tiny device may one day be an alternative to surgery for millions of people who suffer from emphysema, a disease that destroys lung tissue. It's called an intrabronchial valve, or IBV for short, and it's currently in the last phase of clinical trials in the United States. Dr. Roger Maxfield is a clinical professor of medicine at Columbia University. He is one of a team of doctors taking part in the trial. And the purpose of the valve is to divert the flow of air to the healthier portions of the lung and minimize the flow of air to the diseased portions of the lung. The valve is placed into the airways of a diseased lung by a catheter inserted through the mouth. By concentrating the airflow into the healthy parts of the lung, the damaged areas are effectively removed from the breathing process, providing relief for patients suffering from the symptoms of emphysema. The leading cause of emphysema is long-term smoking. Sufferers endure a range of debilitating symptoms, from shortness of breath to complete respiratory failure. There is no cure for emphysema, but it can be treated to improve quality of life. For serious cases, remove the diseased portion of the lung. In critical cases, a complete lung transplant is required. Spiration, the company who invented the IBV valve, believes it offers a much less invasive option, and Maxfield says the process achieves many of the same results. And the thought was if you could achieve some of that same benefit without He's been diagnosed with chronic bronchitis and emphysema. He didn't take part in this trial, but could be a candidate for the IBV valve treatment if it were to be approved by the FDA and if his condition worsened. The procedure appeals to him much more than the other options. Surgery is invasive, and it, a lot of things can go wrong. I mean, it's not a simple thing. It'd be tremendous, you know. While the IBV valve may be a promising step forward in the area of emphysema treatment, it is by no means a cure. Both Dr. Maxfield and Colt Givner say the best way to avoid this disease is prevention, which they say can be summed up in three easy words, do not smoke. So, you know, give it up. <laughs> it's not cool anymore. <laughs> ben Gruber, Reuters.